Hi Capricorn, welcome to your 2023 tarot reading. So in this video, we are going to focus on the major highlights for you for the year ahead. We will look at what you can look forward to when it comes to your money, your career and relationships. At the very end of the video, I will also let you know what nice surprise you can expect this year. So make sure that you hold on until then. As always, if you have my book, Tarot in Five Minutes, make sure that you refer to the cards that come up for you in this reading in the book, and that way you will get a little extra special guidance. Now, this video is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, so let's get started with money. What can you, Capricorn, look forward to happening when it comes to your money in 2023? And you have received the Four of Cups, but, this card also flew out at the same time, the Nine of Cups, a really, really interesting combination. So the Four of Cups is the lack of interest card. So there you are, you're being offered this beautiful golden cup, but you're looking a little bit bored or unsure if it's worth the effort or the bother. So then comes along the Nine of Cups, which is the luckiest card in the tarot deck. So what that means is your luck comes to you in your finances this year from not getting bored, not giving up, and that's where your luck will come. So even if it feels like you're not making much progress at the beginning of the year, and even if you're questioning your effort, if it's worth going, keeping going, there's a sense here of you paying it forward. Put the work in now and you'll appreciate it later. The results will come in later. So for example, if you wanted to save your money uh, because you wanted to buy something later, it's good to do that because what you buy later may come down in price anyway, or it'll be a better time for you to buy. If you want to increase your um, skills now, then study now because it will pay you back later. If you're working on a business or a project, putting your effort in now, put the effort in now because it will pay you back later. Now, as your health is also your wealth, it means put the work in now, starting in January to improve your health. Even if it's boring, even if you're not in the mood for it, do it. Head down, okay? Because this is the year you will finally achieve the result you want. So that's what the Nine of Cups is saying. So if you want to lose weight, if you want to drink less, give up cigarettes, this is the year you'll succeed if you start. That's what the Nine of Cups says. So that was your money news for 2023. Next, we'll look at what you can look forward to in your career in 2023, and you have received the Two of Wands. Now, there you are, standing on top of Castle, looking out to sea. So you're holding a globe in your hand there, looks a bit like a crystal ball looking over seas, across the seas or across water. So this card is strongly associated with self-employment. So perhaps you are self-employed or you might have a gig on the side or a hobby you're thinking about taking more seriously. So this card is particularly linked to online businesses, sales, social media, buying and selling, working from home as well. So what this card means, Capricorn, is if you have been waiting for a while to get something off the ground, this is the year it will finally happen for you. So particularly by May, June or July, I feel that is when the results will really start to show for you. Now, Capricorns who are in employment, you know, um, employed by someone else or even looking for work, You'll find your horizons expanding this year. So there, there's a global or overseas element to this card. So you might get more involved with colleagues or projects from overseas, even take a trip there. Some of you will end up moving or working somewhere else. This is also a good sign for those of you looking for remote work. So Remember though what I said about the boredom, this little boredom fella here in your money area, Capricorn. I feel it's really important that you fight against boredom when it comes to your work this year. So try to stay enthusiastic even if results are slow, keep going and then the magic and the excitement begins to happen by mid-year for you. So that is your career for 2023. Next, what can you look forward to happening in your relationships in 2023? And you have received the Seven of Pentacles. So here you are, stopping to admire all the pentacles you have planted, taking a moment to appreciate the good people in your life. 
you know, you are a good person, Capricorn, I feel it. And because of that, you have managed to build a solid foundation for yourself. People like you, they respect you. But now notice that there's one pentacle on the ground here and that has still to be planted. It means don't become too complacent about the people in your life. Continue to put the effort in, surprise your loved ones, have fun with them, make time to be silly, to connect and to bond. So the key thing here is make a little extra effort to nurture the people in your life this year, and it will pay you back in so many ways. Now, just a few extra specifics with this card. If you're worried about your relationship and you're working at it or thinking about working at it, maybe you're going to counseling. This signifies that you can bring the magic back. If you're single, whoever you meet or maybe have just met recently, the relationship will take time to get off the ground, but don't take that as a sign that it's not meant to be. So that's your relationships for 2023. Be fun to be around Capricorn and they will love you for it. And your final card is what one surprise will you have in 2023 and you received the Hierophant. Ooh, now this is a major destiny card, Capricorn, which means your surprise will be an important one indeed. The Hierophant is the Pope card and he is giving you a blessing or a benediction. Now, the meaning of this card will be unique to you depending on your circumstances. So it can mean, for example, um, you may be getting married and if you are, the wedding goes really well, so relax. Uh, you may meet someone and if you do meet someone this year, Capricorn, that's the person you're most likely to marry. Uh, some of you may be renewing your vows or working on your relationship and bringing it back to that happier time before you are married. For some of you, it can mean getting a job in a large corporation or government body. This card is also associating with graduating with honors. And finally, it is significant for those of you who want to uh, teach, who want to be a guru, who want to pass on information or wisdom to other people to be the Pope, so to speak. So remember, whatever happens here, Capricorn, there is an element of surprise as though to say, oh, I never really believed this could happen. And that will be your surprise. What a fun year it's gonna be for you, Capricorn. Wishing you every happiness and success. Mwah.